black magic sorcerer here and I'm just contemplating the idea as I have an internal conversation with Azazel that it would be a good idea to practice on scumbags. So in terms of cursing, I think it would be a really, really cool idea, especially for us in the community who have powerful gifts to do such things. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and before you do anything, uh, the individual that's being accused of this murder, as far as I'm concerned, couldn't be more guilty from my point of view. From my reading, he is guilty. So, without naming him and giving him any more fan than he deserves, if you want to look him up, what I would suggest is that if you are an experienced practitioner of curses, or you have a good relationship with the spirit of war or hexing or any of those combinations, please do feel free to contact your fellow sorcerers and let them know that uh, it's time to do a group curse. And what we want is we want for this person to receive nothing less than the death penalty. Uh, possibly for both people involved. It sounds like it was one murderer, obviously, but there were two people involved, I think. So you may want to do your readings before you cast your curses, but I am casting mine and I will be doing a 30 day long curse upon this individual to make sure that justice is done. It's the least that you can do in the name of these two children. And, you know, uh, it's one of the few things that I think you could really be proud of as a magician is helping other people, especially in this situation. But obviously you can't do something that's against your own personal code, as I've said before, but you're not going to stop me from doing it. So <clears throat> anyone that would like to join, I recommend that you start now. As we move into the darker season of winter, it is a great time for cursing because we are literally moving into darkness. So darkness and Halloween and all of that have all have all passed, but it is really a time for death. Uh, the trees are getting drier, the ground's drying up. It's going to go into the cycle of death. So, of course, a curse of such nature is going to be perfect for the next couple of months. So... If you're game, I would highly recommend that you look up the case about the Delphi murders. You will see the pictures of the victims. You will see the accused. I would simply print out a picture of the accused and do any said action that you feel would put uh, negative energy on them. Use your symbols. Use your instinct. Um, mine would probably be more simple, but just very powerful. <clears throat> simple and powerful. That's what I like. Very direct. So do this family a favor and make sure that this person gets nothing less than the death penalty. And if he does not, that death will still occur in a violent fashion and that this person will get what they deserve. I do not condone murder of any kind, and that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying with the force of magic that you can make sure that he is brought to a swift and steady death, hopefully by the justice system, if not by some other form of justice. I do not condone murder, and there's no way you could murder him unless you're in prison watching this video and take it upon yourself to attack him when he's in later, which is probably very far-fetched, so just so you know, it doesn't count either, because I don't condone your actions. Anyway, make sure he gets what he deserves. You know what I'm getting at. You know who you are. You know what you have to do. Go forward now. From this point on, in the next 30 days, pay close attention to the moon cycle. Work with it and work with the elements of darkness is a great time to go to cemeteries if you want to witness a lot of phenomenon. Cemeteries are very active in this time of year, <clears throat> almost too active um, if you have any psychic weaknesses. So make sure that you're protected. Get out there, strengthen your aura first. Um, don't let your guard down. Cemeteries are a place for all kinds of things, not to mention the spirits of the dead. So do the world a favor and sharpen your cursing skills on this piece of shit who I feel is very guilty. And let's make sure that this piece of shit gets what he deserves. But I would also like to say as a caveat to that, every man should be presumed innocent before they are guilty. And it's, Way too easy, especially in the sensitive case where children are involved. It is very, very, very hard to look past just that. So 
I am acknowledging that there is the possibility that this person may be 100% innocent. I, I, I don't know. I don't know all the facts. There's obviously a lot of stuff the public doesn't know yet. But I just want to say, from my point of view, I think he's guilty. When I look in the eyes of that individual, I see a very sick man who has uh, been sick for a long time. And he lost control and lost control of the situation. And now he has to face the consequences one way or the other. But why should we be deprived of the joy of seeing him suffer? Pay close attention to just the way he looks in the next month. If you ever get any shots of him, if they'll ever take any damn pictures of the man and stop being so secretive, maybe we'll actually see this piece of shit. Hopefully they'll do the trial live so we can all see the justice and then we can also use those pictures and that energy coming from him to uh to really weaken him weaken his defenses find out who his lawyers are whoever his lawyers are they need to be weakened you can put bindings on them so that they show up late you can totally fuck his whole case up if you know what you're doing if you know who's operating the case then you can make it where the judge hates him more than any person on the planet if you have those talents if you know how to, through the spirit of influence with your will, and your will alone, if you can make a person change or invoke spirits that help that person to change, to come to another side, that's also a very powerful gift. And something that the spirits uh, happen to be very good at is, especially Belial and King Baal and spirits of that nature seem to be very good at moving authority figures, moving them in a direction that's more for your benefit they're awesome at that and uh, in all your court battles you may want to invoke Balaba first all right my friends just a quick update and i wanted to say thank you again we are so close to 500 subscribers i didn't think 500 people would ever give a damn so thank you very much and uh dark blessings have fun cursing the scumbag <laughs>